Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I won. I won this product. Stay with me as I review it. Okay, I'm about to get started. This is about to be a two-day process. It's only not going to be a two-day process if for some reason I get like this boost of energy and decide to continue through with doing my hair until the wee night hours, which I highly doubt it because <laughs> your girl is already tired and it is currently 4.24 in the afternoon slash evening afternoon on Friday. And this is what, July the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here I am. The Thermal Care uh, Purifying Cleanser. Maximum thermal protection. Infused with silk, bamboo, and quinoa to prevent heat damage for all hair textures. By Uncle Funky's Daughter. I am so excited to finally try their line. I have been wanting to try their products for the longest. I actually want to say I had like a little sample of a cream. It was a sample pack and... If it was, this was from years ago when I went to the Talia Wajid um, natural hair show. And you know, that was a long time ago because and this is pre-COVID. So yeah, it's been some years since I even done one of those events. Either way, my hair, it is dry. It is sectioned from just the protective style that I had in. But it is... It needs to be cleansed and all the things. It's been two weeks, okay? So this is perfect. I'm ready to do this. And this is going to be my um, blowout for the next few weeks, basically, until my oldest sister's birthday, because we won't be here. Um, it would have been awesome to go home to Ohio to see family in memory of her first birthday um, since her passing, which will be six months come her birthday. Um, but yeah, okay. That's all I'm going to say right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so I am fresh out the shower. My hair is still wet. Um, had to grab my towel though. <laughs> and I shampooed my hair. I got a nice little tingling sensation from it. Slightly, not as strong as the herbal cleanser from um, Talia Wajid, which I think I mentioned her twice now. I don't even use her, like, I don't even have any of her products. Like, I don't even really use her products like I used to. And I haven't bought any of her products in quite a few years. Anyways, this video is not even about that. It's about Uncle Funky's daughter. Okay, now I'm about to apply the thermal, prote the maximum thermal protection deep conditioner, and it says I can apply it um, and leave on my hair for five minutes, or apply heat for thirty minutes, and that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna grab my hair dryer and put my um, cap on after I put this on my hair. And yes, this applies to wet hair from root to ends. I mean, wash, deep condition, no biggie. The only thing um, about this line that I am questioning is a leave-in conditioner. Because I always put a leave-in conditioner. Now, when I'm blow drying my hair, my leave-in conditioner I always use is the Kinky Curly Knot today. This is supposed to be a full line. So, I am, <laughs> I feel like I'm risking my hair by not using it as my step after. But the primer that they gave which is supposed to be the third step. It says prep hair with maximum thermal protection shampoo and deep conditioner. Shake thermal protection primer to activate. Okay. And then it says spray lightly 68 inches away from hair. Blow dry and then apply the split in serum. So, yeah. I'm going I'm to follow what they said. And the split in serum, that's a glass bottle. All the other ones are plastic bottles. So, okay. okay, so I've had my cap on for probably 10 minutes. Um, it's 5.56 p.m., 5.57 p.m. now. But um, I got some things around the house that I need to take care of. It's getting close to dinner time. And I need to make sure dinner is ready if I am going to attempt to wash out the deep conditioner and then go into applying the primer and the the end treatment and all the things because once you apply that it's important to go ahead and um you know i think i i just can't i think i'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner i think i'm definitely going to apply just a little bit of my kinky curly knot today because i just don't want to feel like i'm risking my hair and yes it's a whole line so the whole line is all about um 
you know, healthy hair with heat. But it's my first time using it. And since the since that primer doesn't say a leave in conditioner, I mean you still should have something on your hair. As I mean, after all the years I've been doing my hair. Um and I haven't looked up anybody else actually doing this. Again, I won this product off of Instagram through West African Babies Instagram page. So shout out to her. So I'm super excited. And shout out, of course, yes to Uncle Funky Zorda for even having this giveaway. I'm so pumped to have won it. But I have to tell you, these products smell amazing. I've only used the shampoo and the deep conditioner so far. They smell amazing. Obviously, apply the shampoo to your scalp and let the shampoo rinse run down the rest of the shelf of your hair. You know, especially if you're not really applying heavy, heavy oils throughout your hair throughout the week, depending on how often that you cleanse your hair. But I personally don't suggest, because when you, okay, I personally don't suggest rubbing shampoo all over the, sh like the shaft of your hair strands, okay? On the other hand, because, um... For this shampoo, and particularly, and it's and a shampoo that you would use when you are prepping your hair for heat, you use a stripping shampoo, okay? It's not a moisturizing shampoo, okay? So let's clarify that. When you're using a stripping shampoo, um, yes, you want to strip your hair. You want to have all the oils and stuff come out. So, yes, make sure that that shampoo comes down throughout your hair. Just um, just don't overdo it. Don't be too rough with it because the ends of your hair, you still got to protect the babies, the old the old people, I guess, <laughs> the ends of your hair. So, yeah, um, I hope it doesn't sound, um, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so usually I don't rub my strands of my hair f from end to root, for, from root to ends when I am shampooing my hair, which is not every single week. Um... But because I had to prep my hair in regards to heat, you definitely want to strip your hair of all the layers and um, oils and such. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, here I am under the dryer. <laughs> Why was I struggling? This is my first time taking out this purple um, hair dryer bonnet attachment. I do have a hooded dryer that my aunt gave me and I use that sometimes. It's just that... I didn't feel like pulling it out and this was so much faster yet this thing was so hot like it was burning my skin and I could not get myself to adjust the strap properly so this is what I'm doing I'm just sitting here struggling y'all <laughs> and my daughter's running in and out and she trying to touch it talk about ah, it's hot it's hot of course girl <laughs> okay so in this clip it's basically 10 9 p.m. The volume was so low that I couldn't even let it just play. I really was trying to just record multiple clips so I wouldn't have to edit as much. But the life of a vlogger, right? Yet, I wanted this video to be short for y'all. I'm showing here also that I decided to use the Kinky Curly Knot today. My hair has been deep conditioned and is still on. And I had the shower going. And I had to, I have to get in to rinse out my hair. But it was fully detangled. The deep conditioner that Uncle Funky Daughters has is actually um, has some good slip to it. I added a little bit more, but definitely I can tell you using heat in this deep conditioning process was the best part to use it. Not best part, but the best way to incorporate the deep conditioner. Now here in this clip, my hair is completely rinsed and it feels nice and soft. It feels very clean and that's just about as much um, leave-in conditioner that I'm going to use on my hair maybe a little bit more these video clips have been that were recorded they're really low but I'm just showing you what I do during my um, blow my blow dry process when I'm going to put heat on my hair and I'm just talking with y'all honestly I can't even remember everything that I was talking about but yeah making sure that I have the leave in on every strand because my blow dryer is the one that has that um, brush method on it and I've been using it for the past few years I want to say maybe four years but definitely that's it okay okay so after leave in it's time to apply the primer I'm so glad I reread the bottle because your girl almost put the split in serum on first 
which you can apply the split end serum to your wet hair as well. Some people probably use the primer and the serum at the same time before blow drying. Um, but, and I did that. It was just that the spring of the primer was first, okay? And making sure that was on. So I put that on my hair and it was very important for me because my hair was still really wet after I saturated, okay? I apply my leave-in conditioner to wet hair because I have low porosity hair and I've always done this. This is what works for me. Then I go through now with using this line, I went and applied the primer, okay? And I let those two items settle on my hair for about maybe two hours i sat down and chilled because it was late you guys i was tired like i stated in the beginning of the video it was going to be a two-day process but praise the lord i was actually able to go through and do the full blowout detangling everything within one day yes it spread out to what 3 a.m 3.30 in the morning, so it was basically like a two-day process, but I shoved it into the one day. So, you know, you girl got to do what you got to do because Saturday was the next day, and I was needing to rest, okay? Needing to rest. You got to rest that body sometime. <laughs> but, yeah, so then right before I started blow drying, I came back with the, um, the split-in serum, okay? <laughs> and right here I was making a joke because um, next year will be my 10 year natural anniversary and I was talking about um, cutting ends and how I transitioned <laughs> and one of my old employees when I was managing in one of the restaurants OG and she pointed out how my ends were my straight ends were just hanging on <laughs> So that's why I was doing a little hand motion that um, that chick Angel did before. And I was laughing at myself because I have all these inside jokes. But okay, let's just get back to the video. <laughs> I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. Okay, now I hope y'all are really enjoying this content. You know, with this new hair video, products line. Um, let me know if there's anything else that you're interested in. I have to say that I'm super excited on this editing because this video was over 50 minutes and currently it's down to like 32 but I'm going to continue to shorten it as I talk to y'all and do these voiceovers as well. <laughs> do y'all like the longer videos? Do you like the videos over 30 minutes? Let me know. Okay, it's 12.27 a.m. I decided because I let my hair sit, it's pretty like... It's not dripping at all. That's how hot it is. So it will not be a good idea for me to wait until morning. Um, yeah, to blow dry my hair. I can go ahead and just knock it on out. And I got the thermal, thermal protection split end serum right here. And because this is water based, um, it also comes out like a squirt, but not like a spray. A squirt. I can tell because of the, because of how that looks. So yeah, it's definitely it's a serum, so it's gonna be thick, thicker. And because it's water based, it's gonna give me a little bit more water. It says to focus that on my ends. Um, I may actually spritz my hair with that thermal spray again if if any of my if any part of my hair feels too dry. Because my roots still feel a little wet. Like when I squeeze it, you probably can hear it. So let's just see. I'm going to start. I always start on this side. I always start over here, but since I did this side last, I'm going to do go backwards. And I'm going to pull this side down. And I'm going to start with this section. It still feels nice and damp because the Bantu knots, they keep moisture in. Anyways, that's what you're about to do. I'm going to blow it out. And I think I'm just going to, after I blow it out, I may put it into a uh, twist. And just tie my hair up because I'm getting tired. I just ate. I had some chips. I had some G's. I had some hash brown patties. A couple nuggets. Literally two. A little barbecue sauce. I mean, just some little finger stuff. 
it's late whatever that's what your girl ate and it tasted so good and guess who woke up baby girl woke up came downstairs you know so i'm just like girl um yeah i think she about to wake up on me again nah i gave her some water she always wants to either water or milk but she takes a couple sips and she goes right back to bed so i let her i let her lay in there with dad dad wow because that'll keep her there much longer if she knows i'm up moving about which is not a not normal thing so whatever here i go here i go it's now 1 50 a.m the woes of being a naturalista and having a family. For all my naturalists out there that continually do vlogs on your hair and stuff while having a family. You know what? I don't think there's that many of them out there. Hmm. Shoot. Well, I guess that's why. This is the last section I have. The rest of my hair is blown out, put in a ponytail. This is the last section. It's still damp. You can actually still see the moisture. These bantu knots help. And I started getting so hot, I had to go turn the AC on. I don't like turning my AC on. But I didn't want my hair sweating out before I got done. So I'm just taking this down. A lightly finger detangling again. Okay. Now, I'm def definitely using more pumps than they say. It says use a nickel size down, a nickel size amount. One, two, three pumps. That's about it. A little shed's hair. Four. I told you I need to cut my ends. But you know what? As I was blowing it out, I'm rubbing this in. Look like lotion. And I start with the ends and then I'm going up. Now, because this is the serum that's mostly for the end anyway, I'm like rubbing it in. Then, I'm taking another squirt, focusing it so I can go around my edges. See, that's edges. Now, I'm going to bang my edges. I want to do those ends. See that? The edges. Because that blow dry heat going to be on them, and I need them to be protected too. Okay. Then I'm gonna take another little pump. So that's pump what number four or five. Go over the top because I have some flares on my hair. And I mean by flares, basically breakage. I have some breakage in my hair. I do. My hair is not perfect. I never said it was, but I have some breakage in my hair. Um, but I'm also my hair is not falling out. I'm taking this a little bit more, another pump, and I'm going to focus it only on the ends. Okay. So it's about, I think, six pumps is what I use. Whew. And my hair feels just damp. It doesn't feel wet. All right. Hello first. Hi, lads. Okay, as soon as a blow dryer can be for a newborn or a toddler. Right now, I'm basically taking the low heat as I stated. And I'm taunting my hair and going up and down it to start low heat, okay? Up and down the shaft of my hair. Ooh, I'm tired. Ain't looking at this while yawning. This made me yawn again. <laughs> then I adjust the heat, okay? and turn it up to high and then I go through. I'm showing you that on this dryer, if you've never seen it before, it's through Revlon. Again, this video is not sponsored. Even because I have the free product, I'm still giving my full honest review for you guys, okay? The heat from this Revlon hand dryer, it works amazingly, but the heat is concentrated at the tip. I would love to have this exact dryer, but with the heat throughout the entire brush. 
Like, it comes out just the top. I don't like that. But, I mean, it works, okay? Um, it's just that it's more pressure on the top bristles. So, yeah, blow drain, the serum, thermal spray, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. it on it. <laughs> it's really, really soft and flowy, y'all. Not heavy at all. Okay, so now my whole head is blown out. Go through, do another pass, do a little bit of this. Okay, so I had to go through with another pass just to get it, you know, more flattened because I put it in that ponytail to keep my hair away. And I'm going to go through and style it. So, you know, when you blow dry your hair, if you've blow dry your hair before, the slightest bend and twist and all that can give a little ripple effect. Now, it's very important as well to go through with cool air. That's what I'm saying right here. Go through with cool air throughout your hair as well. And I'm just showing a little hang time before I cut my hair. I literally went through and trimmed off um, my ends. It didn't feel... Um, like I needed a really big trim because I actually did a soft trim, more of a soft trim, more than a soft trim back in April. I am loving this blowout process. My hair feels so light and fluffy and I'm just having so much fun with it. <laughs> Trying to get my Beyonce fan on right here. Yes. But I'm so grateful for this line, you guys. This is definitely a plus in my book. And... Here I am going back with the thermal, the thermal care. All right, thumbs up, thumbs this video up. So here I am, big hair don't care. Hey, how long will my hair last being this big, right? Long, freshly blown out. I'm having fun with this. Now my hair feels very light and airy. I'm loving it. And I haven't even put the shine booster on yet. So I haven't put the shine booster on yet. But look, my hair doesn't it look nice. Let me pause. No, 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 I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna put the phone down. Let's just see how much of a difference it makes, right? Okay, let's see if I can get this live. It says apply to damp hair before heat styling or smooth through dry hair from root to ends with a shiny finish. Uh, so I could have put it on beforehand too, but I, I like it. This is my since of my. Since it's my oil, I like putting my oils on last anyway, so. Oh. It's not, it doesn't have a scent. Yes, it does, hold on. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's the thick, it looked like it was runny. Like watery, but it's not. First, I'm gonna do it this way. Since my hair is down the middle, since it's part down the middle. I'm not sure if I need this many pumps, but I need to, my ends could use a little clipping, but honestly, I guess I did do a pretty good job clipping them the last time because they look blunt. 
I mean, I can still feel that I need a clipping, okay? And I ain't about to, we ain't about to be up in here acting like I don't need a, a, a trim. I do. I'm just doing like three or four pumps and going through my whole head to seal all of this in. This is about to be my styling agent, really. I mean, when you blow out your hair, you don't you you don't need a lot of product. But this, <clears throat> tell me you can see that shine. That's nice. My hair is shrinking up. Obviously, it's blown out, but you know, it's not um, silky straight. Okay, that's enough. I guess I'll come back with my hair styled. Hmm. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you stay for the full video, I approve this line of products. My hair feels nice and light. It doesn't feel super weighed down. I don't know how long it's gonna last in this Georgia heat humidity, but I pray that it did exactly what it's supposed to do. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus on all these products. I should cleanse them and bless them as I have already used them in my hair. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I always pray over all my stuff, edible and not edible. I pray for everything that comes in our house. And you know what? I, I want to say I did bless the box when it arrived. But usually I say a prayer specifically over the hair products before I put them on my hair. And I did it. So, yeah, we're going to bless that now. And everything that I have already used in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, Cause God blessed my hair. He blessed everything that I have. Yeah, okay. Good night. <laughs> Here's my hair Sunday morning. So basically about 36 hours later. These curls were so pretty. And all I did was twist my hair and braided the roots. And then put them on a um, flexi rod. But you know my hair was like one big puff by the end of the day. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. Shout out to Uncle Funky's daughter and West African baby. Peace and many blessings.